Where? We are planning a trip to New York, and so I'm doing a prelude because she's talking about how excited she is for guess what? The videos. This very video. Wait, can I say something? Swear to God, if we look like the Empire State Building or the Pokemon Center, I'm gonna flip a switch. A that's, switch? that's all I want to do. No, don't flip my switch. Oh! Um, today she bought the tickets. <laughs> We're going to New York City. No. Here is our prelude to the New York trip. We're all together right now. <laughs> just in case, just to be extra thorough, <laughs> it's my dad's birthday. New York is in 20 days. Here we are. It's 316. We woke up 16 minutes ago. And we're going right here. And I'm going to see if this can be the first project I do with this camera where it doesn't go into the stupid silent slow motion mode. In fact, I'm gonna need to check this very clip to make sure that didn't happen, because I don't know how it happens. <laughs> Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you excited for this trip? I need potassium. The game set in New York City. We're gonna get copyright striked for this one. We might see this. We might see a fight. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna see in New York City. It's the only place where anything happens, according to the movies. Okay, so I've been watching Sex in the City, and I've I brought my Christian Louis Vuittons because I was like, Carrie walked. I forgot like four blocks with her four hundred dollar heels. I'm like, I want to do it. We made it through security, and now we're gonna do the inaugural first people train mover ride of the trip. Do it. Right. Yeah. Turn around every now and then I ride a train. Okay, here we are. She didn't want to do subway surfing or sitting. Is this even a seat? I don't know. If it's I sit, you know? No, it is. Have you ever wondered if you would fit on that chair? Probably. We picked the perfect breakfast for this trip. The flavor of New York. Uh-huh, I want to say something. I'm in shock we're eating this early, and not only that, we got freaking fast food. Oh, yeah. I kind of wish Burger King was open. <laughs> oh, um, I'm holding my tongue. That's cool. Nice. That one, y'all. That one? We are in the Orlando airport. We got a propaganda right here. Oh, yeah. What movies are it going to be? Copyright. So I said, wow, traveling without a checked bag is the way to go. And at that exact moment, they came over the intercom and went, all bags must be checked now. You don't have a choice. And we were the first ones to get to follow that rule. So now we don't have our bags. It was the Berkey freaking luck. And that's why I'm like, oh my God, this Berkey luck. And now, what's her last name? Oh yeah, this is like our, our, our diet time. honeymoon, by the way. It's, it's a light. light. It's a prelude. Light. It's honeymoon I, light. L -I, I think it's so funny though. You'll like, see it. It's gonna be the title of the video. But I think it's so funny though that like people are like, "Oh my God, it's your birthday!" So is this is your birthday present. I'm like, I honestly, I kind of forgot it was until you said it this morning. You're like, "Tomorrow's your birthday." I was like, "Oh yeah," <laughs> I kind of forgot. I know. Her birthday is like the last thing on our mind right now. <laughs> We're like New York trip. Also, it's her birthday. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we are leaving JFK, which my actual Peruvian has confirmed does indeed look like Jorge okay, Chavez International Airport. We're in a taxi. Uh, she hasn't been in a taxi in forever, and it's been a minute for me, too. Here we are, the most dangerous in New York City. It's true. I've been watching too much Seinfeld. I had a Kramer moment. I was going through the turnstile for the subway and I got caught in it and fell to the ground and the people in the booth looked at me like... Comedy. <laughs> it just so happens that we arrived in the city at a historic moment, so we had to come check out some history. <laughs> Lego store. That was a nice 
Beach Church. And over here we have Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth Avenue, the place of employment formerly of my own mother-in-law. First time I'm saying that in one of these videos. Oh, did you want to go to the Lego store? Here we are at Rockefeller Center with FAO Schwartz featuring Bluey and I think I see Gyarados? <laughs> Pretty wild. So how is this, where's the ice skating? Is it like... They took it down. Okay, it's here? Yeah. It's uh, all, this whole thing is an ice skating thing. Oh. But now they, uh, this... This is one of the many things I found on Instagram and I just happened to stumble upon it so I have to try it. We made our pilgrimage to the Nintendo store, and I'm seeing Pokemon! I see Trico! If I didn't just get a Trico plush, you'd see me get one of them. Ooh, they have Rotom. I might walk out of here with Rotom. A museum of different gaming systems. Some people walk out of New York stores with designer bags. I come out here with Nintendo. And that's why I married you. I love that they're opposing banned books, as everyone should. Banning books is a big red flag. Literally. She was just talking about how we don't seem like tourists, but now I blew our cover. This looks so different inside, I feel like I have not been here, and I've definitely been here more than one time. Oh my god, yeah! That's the whole reason we came! Oh my god, I can, I can play... You can use your plush to be King Kong on this model. The reason we're here, the man himself, may he rest in peace. Also, this hero... And there's Minnie Mouse. Look at all this animation! My ears are coughing. <laughs> Mine too. We're on 34th. Speeding up. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Hey, look at that dame walking down on the street. We're headed to the top of the Empire State Building right here in the heart of New York City. Oh, wow. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, my God, Brandon. Hello. We're just going to make a laugh. That'll take you to the next elevator. All right, thank you. That man's name was Heath L. Heath L. That was like an Academy Award winner. Heath Fletcher. I don't know which one they like. Let's move on to the other one. Number one. The only thing, and I mean the one and only thing that could possibly make this any better, would be an appearance by the Jazzy Boys 3. <laughs> I mean that's that what that's what makes these these tall towers complete. But other than that, this is pretty spectacular. Okay, we are about to go on the observation deck, but how can we resist Empire State Building conveyor belt donuts? Okay, here's the entrance that we remembered. As we children. Were, <laughs> we were confused the whole time, but it turns out they just changed things. Revolving doors! I want my own little booth. I feel like this, the girl from Uptown Girl. Uptown Girl! She is walking through revolving doors. Have you seen that movie? Okay, we successfully navigated our way across Manhattan. 
We went from the Empire Street building, we are headed to Ground Zero. Do you, uh, should I say some morbid history? So they built this um, subway, after, like while they were building the memorial for the Twin Towers. So originally the subway system basically caved in and stopped. Like it's kind of crazy. Very beautiful. Hi, we, we went to the 9 11 Museum. It, it was, was very heavy. It was heavy. There were some things I didn't like ever knew about. And I know, like, one thing that like hit me the most was the collar of a guide dog. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah, the story of a guide dog that helped his owner find his way out. The thing that was like super shocking was that it was like within 30 minutes of the tower collapsing that they got out and I was like, oh my god. But... Our favorite pizza place back home is Joe's Pizza. So we're going to try the Joe's Pizza here see how they compare. Okay, first slice of New York pizza of the trip and she got some cream soda. I'll have oh, a sip of that. I love cream soda. Okay, let's go try the spinach. I was like, I'm interested in it. Mm. I'm so is our Joe's better? Honestly, if I didn't get the spinach, yeah, um, no. <laughs> the spinach, I think, is too overwhelming for me. I know it's hot. Pretty good. It is pretty good. I just wish I didn't get the spinach. I was like, let me try it. I was like, mm. I was like oh, this is gonna gonna end well. But <laughs> the pizza itself, the fresh mozzarella, she and I. Combo. Just the way she likes it. Just no, literally, just the way. Even the sauce. We found this cool train station, so we're using this to find the sea train. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We love the sea train. I may have stolen the C from her last name, but we can still take the C train. Cool restaurant, street side. Emma is here. <laughs> Everybody's here. I don't know if I got these two, but they've been here. Pretty exciting. We got the food. I got the chicken pepperoni parmesan. It may look like a pizza, but it's not. But it's delicious. We also had some really good... Antipasti. Nobody knows how to pronounce that correctly. Well, I love words. Antipasti. 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 this table is in memory of Jerome Robbins, the choreographer of West Side Story, one of my favorite musicals. We got the best seat in the house. Yeah, we did. That's cool. I was setting up for the train. You're white. I'm Latino. I know. We are West Side Story. <laughs> We're here in New York. So this restaurant's very scenic and Aunt Deborah said I should just walk around and check it out, maybe work off some of this meal. So I walked around and I realized there was a dead end over there. I was like, oh, okay, I hit a dead end. I'll just go back to the table and call it quits. And then the, the, the server was like, oh, no, you can go through here. I was like, okay, I'll just go in there and circle back to the table. And he's like, no, it's over this way. He's trying to show me where the bathroom is. And I was like, the only thing that could possibly make me look more foolish than I already look right now is not going to the bathroom. Yeah. So I went ahead and just went to the bathroom. <laughs> Over here, over here, over here. No, no, here, no. Sophia pointed out that they might just be looking for Spider Man up there. And we're at the Lincoln Center. We're here at the Lincoln Center. I'm being a terrible theater person and not showing this amazing theater. They're doing Uncle Vanya. But holy cow, look at this beauty. Now that's a land bridge if I've ever seen one. My word. Gorgeous. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh my a guy God, just like laughed. <laughs> yeah, I missed it. Oh, it was amazing. And Sophia spatially displaced me. We turned a corner and she went, this could be Orlando. And I'm like, it could. It could be Orlando. But no, no. We're in New York. We're in the Big Apple. This is no fever dream. That's a horse with a feather on its head. We're both seeing this. You know what this reminds me of? the main walkway of our cruise. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's, that's... Oh, there's a land bridge. Oh, well, of course. It's, it's those uh, exclusive land bridges, though, that, that only special people get to go on. It is, uh, 
Uh, I don't think I've heard of one before. We're walking. Oh, 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 it's blurry. We're walking past Tavern on the Green in Central Park. Oh, an extramarital affair. We've got a horse over here. It's a feather horse. Feather oh, horse. The best kind of horse. If they bob their head enough, they can take off. Double the cost of the evening. Let's get in that for a few bucks. For a few bucks.